After missing out on the Ballon d'Or one week ago, reports claimed that Real Madrid superstar Vinicius Jr. is still feeling the sting of missing out on the award. This revelation was brought to light by Spanish publication, AS. We will discuss you throughout that on this episode as we progress, and shortly after that, we will quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day, as Real Madrid center back David Alaba has suffered another blow in his recovery process. According to the report, the Austrian international is not expected to return back to action anytime soon, as his recovery process has been slower than expected. We will also talk you on that in this episode, so please stay tuned right up to the end, do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bells so you don't miss out on our daily Real Madrid updates. Whether or not the Ballon d'Or results were actually leaked, the fact remains that Madrid and Vinicius Jr. were confident that this year's award would ultimately go to the winger. Of course, this confidence translated into heartbreak for the Brazilian star, who has always dreamed of winning the prestigious individual award, to find out just hours before the ceremony that he was not the winner. Almost a week after the ceremony, the wounds he sustained when he didn't win the Ballon d'Or are still fresh, as revealed. As the Spanish media revealed, the Brazilian is extremely disappointed to have missed out on a chance at glory and is still in the healing phase. The cancellation of the Valencia match came at a much-anticipated time for Real Madrid, but the circumstances that led to it are truly dire. From the racist incident in May 2023 to the chants prepared by the Mestala fans during last season's match, the Mestala has not been easy playground for the winger in recent years. In fact, Valencia fans had prepared songs about Vinicius' loss of the Ballon d'Or for the match that was scheduled to take place on Saturday night, and even wanted to prepare a sea of yellow balloons to mock him. So missing the match at Mestala will not rub salt in Vinicius' wounds, but will help him recover in the safety of his home. The Santiago Bernabeu fans will protect him in the next two matches against AC Milan and Osasuna, before moving to the safety of the Brazilian national team, where he will once again be surrounded by well-wishers. On the second part this interesting episode, we will be bringing you the latest updates on David Alaba's recovery process, after reports claims it's going slower than expected. According to a report by journalist Rodra, David Alaba is recovering slowly from a serious injury and is not expected to return to Real Madrid in the near future. Alaba suffered a serious injury on December 17, 2023, in a match against Villarreal, which resulted in a rupture of the anterior cruciate ligament in his left leg, which also affected the meniscus. The defender is currently undergoing rehabilitation and training alone at Valdebebas. He was initially scheduled to return to action in October, but it has now become clear that he will have to wait even longer. The current plan is for Alaba to rejoin the team in January, in time for the start of the winter transfer window. If he follows this timeline, he will be out of action for around 13 months, a significant absence that will have a major impact on the team. Despite these challenges, recent reports from Real Madrid's training facility suggest that Alaba's condition is improving. He appears to be regaining his fitness and showing signs of being ready to return to the rigors of elite football. However, the club's experts believe that it may be several more months before he is able to perform as expected. Alaba's presence will be highly valued by head coach Carlo Ancelotti, especially considering the defensive challenges the team currently faces. Ancelotti believes Alaba is an important player and the club is taking all precautions to ensure he does not return to competitive action too soon. It is hoped that when he does return he will be at his best and ready to make a major contribution to the team's success. The club and its fans are eagerly awaiting the day when Alaba can once again take to the pitch in a Real Madrid shirt. With that being said, we have come to the end of this episode. Thanks for watching till the end.